Hey, good morning everybody. It's Jimmy with Digital Real Estate Solutions. Uh, today is going to be video number three in our series about Facebook marketing, how to use Facebook groups um, to your benefit. Okay, so let's talk about a few things. So there are 20 million Facebook groups, yard sale groups, groups for veterans, groups for stay-at-home moms, groups for everything. As you're growing your sphere of business, um, I do suggest you join as many groups locally as possible. You will find many opportunities to serve others and, you know, and through serving others, oftentimes you will find results, um, you know, for your business. We've had a lot of agents that just by farming groups and, you know, and searching for certain items are able to generate quite a bit of business. So let's talk about it. So here's an example. If you see on the screen of a local group here near me, I am in Utah. Um, so, you know, you've got discussion items for sale. This is one of the things you can do in groups. You can search the group. So let's say we go home for sale down here in the thing and you click search for that. And up it shows is things in theory related to home for sale. The cool thing about Facebook group is, is you can turn the notifications on that anytime someone searches for this particular phrase, you can click right here on get notifications and um, you'll start getting notified up here in your notifications. Let me move this up so you can see it up here in your notifications um, that there's things in there. So um, for sale by owners, homes for sale, um, everything must go. A lot of things like that are great for these groups. Um, you know, another great thing for very specific groups is you can, if you have unique houses, you can find um, groups of people that may like that unique house, like man caves or, um, you know, maybe they've got a theater or something like that. You know, higher end stuff, you can find stuff in these different groups. So Facebook is giving us the key to do a lot of things um, that we certainly can do um, because of these groups. Like I said, there's 20 million, you know, just locally yard sale groups alone, there's a ton. I use Mark's yard sale groups to do mass posting. Um, it's pretty awesome. So, um, prime example with groups, and we'll show you how to run an ad. Well, let's say you decide to um, sell an item in the group, right? So, start sell something. Um, let's see. Stop wasting money on rent. I can't type, apparently. I apologize. Um, Um, let's say 1500 bucks is good. Let's put the zip code 84404. Describe your item. Great home for sale. Don't, um, you know, something like stop wasting money on rent. Blah, blah, blah. Then you can put an image. So let's find an image. Uh, some snazzy house I've used before. Hold this down so you can see it. So snazzy image, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to end up posting this all the way, but I want to give you an idea. So by putting it in the sale group, it gives you the ability also to drop it into the marketplace and multiple other groups that may be tied to that zip code. So you can literally run an ad in one place and drop it in 10. I've closed millions of dollars off of yard sale group posts for this. Now this very same thing will work for listings, uh, trying to find buyers, different things like that. But this is kind of a general overview of what you can pull out of these Facebook groups. I mean, you look how many different groups I belong to that I could literally drop this into and post. Now, not all of them are going to let you in. Some will make an admin work to get you in there, but it gives you an idea of how it's done. So that's kind of a Facebook group overview. Um, you've seen people do it. You've seen people do it incorrectly. We are going to show you a couple different ways to post listings in a future video, but that's the power of Facebook groups. You can sell almost anything and get a ton of action off of it. So we recommend you try that um, and see where it gets you. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it.